Hey Joe, it's Scott with Impact Latent SEO. Uh, just making this video to kind of do a web audit for you so you can see it and uh, see if there's any improvements I'd recommend and things like that. So hopefully this is beneficial for you and explains a little bit what I do. It sounds like somebody else might have already kind of gone through it. But um, looking at your website, there's a few things for you. Uh, first off, I would recommend adding some more content. The reason for that is because Google loves to see content. They want to see 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage. You currently have roughly 800. So that's just one thing I would recommend for you. The other thing is if done correctly, these images should be my home fire. Yep. Um, they're, they're done correctly, but they do have the fire intent keywords there that in the background and they count as content as well Idaho firearm classes um, <clears throat> with that being said uh, it looks like your website personally has been made pretty well um, basing off of your ARIFs uh, which is your analytics of your website uh, the domain and URL rating are the strength and trust that Google has for your website these are on a scale of 100 and you want these continuously moving up and balanced you're currently at 0.5 and 2 uh, for your strength and trust, and that's due to referring pages and domains, which are backlinks. And if you don't know what a backlink is, it's when one website links to another website via clickable button or text. But not all backlinks are created equal, so do make sure to keep those relevant to industry and location whenever possible. <coughs> and so it looks like you're being indexed for 375 keywords. A lot of these, if you look here, um, so this one is the one I looked up, but a lot of these are, you know, gun shooting classes near me, you're in first position. This one I don't really count as buyer intent because that's a local, or that's a national keyword. And so if people are looking in Utah, for example, where I am, uh, they might not be able to really utilize your services. Whereas Idaho Enhanced Concealed Carry class, there's 30 searches a month, you are number one, and you're getting 11 people to your website. That's pretty good uh, buyer intent uh, keyword for you. <clears throat> Based off of my um, tool, this is a tool, it's not uh, Google Analytics, but it's just a third party tool to kind of give you some. There are some that you've dropped down in, like Concealed Carry Permit, Idaho, you know, there's 200 searches, and you're ranked number 12, so you're on the second page of Google. But those are the types of buyer intent keywords that I would recommend, you know, trying to rank for a little bit better. For the most part, I do see you ranked number one in quite a bit of them, so just FYI there. But I did go ahead and look up Idaho Enhanced Concealed Carry Permit. First uh, one is, uh, you know, a .gov website, which is fine. Usually there is a Google Map Pack, but I didn't see one for this particular keyword. And that is, and that usually is this one right here. So for this particular keyword, Idaho Firearms Class, you are ranking number one. Um, let me just, yep, that's you. So, <clears throat> this is where you could be found for other buyer intent keywords like I know my hands concealed or I know fire. Oh, no, you're already number one. Um, Boise concealed carry classes, like those are the other ones that you could rank for in these areas. And you do that by making sure your name, address, and phone number are the exact same across the internet. You always want to be adding reviews. Um, I, I make a QR code for you, so it's really easy to ask your uh, clientele to leave your review. And then um, making sure you're adding branded geotagged and geolocated photos weekly shows Google that you're growing your business organically. And so I did, for this one, <coughs> I went to Minidoka County, and to kind of just give you an example for their, um, their website that's ranking, they have, they do have a lot more referring pages and domains, and they have, because they have a lot more strength and trust from their website. So once you have your more authoritative content, your backlinks and citations, um, you'll start to outrank your competitors for these different keywords. And I didn't know exactly which one to look up, but I just looked up Idaho and firearm, and you know classes, bill of sale. Um, but what happens is essentially a percentage of the people going to your website or searching for these things will go to your website instead of your competitors 
and then a percentage of those people who go on your website will either call or form submit, and depending on your closing rate, will turn to a customer or client or whatever. Um, the one last thing that I would recommend is making your uh, phone number really, really big, and then having some sort of form submit right up top. Um, the reason I say that is because if I'm on my phone or something and I have to scroll all the way down here to send a message, those don't usually, um, you know, they don't make it to the bottom of the page. So I look forward to talking to you more and we'll talk soon. Have a good one.